Well, hi, my name is Pete, and today I am going to show you a little bit about our ShareASale Elite uh, data feed loader. Um, we are going to start out today with a, a blank WordPress install. As you can see here, we just selected a random theme, and it's completely empty. There are no posts in there. Uh, we're going to jump to the administration panel right now. And as you can see, our plugin has already been preloaded. Uh, if this is the first time you're installing our plugin, you will find it underneath your settings. Um, just click on the Share Sale Elite Auto Feed Loader uh, button, and uh, the plugin will load itself. Now, the first thing you want to do when you install the plugin for the first time is enter your credentials. Uh, to do that, you just click on the Enter Login Settings first, and you will be shown the screen right here. Just fill out your login ID, your password, and your affiliate ID. Now the last one, uh, you're going to need to enter uh, the token from the ShareSale API Center. In order to do that, we've included a little tool for you. Just scroll down and click on the link that you see below. I'm not going to do that right now because you're going to see all our private information, but if you click on that link, uh, it'll take you directly to the ShareSale uh, API Center and you are going to need your own IP address which we've uh, provided for you right here and you just fill out that IP address and get the token and then you copy and paste the token in this field right here now when you're all done setting those uh, IDs just click once on update my uh, my settings and you're gonna get a message here that uh, you're all set and that you need to click on the button on the top left corner of your screen so when we click that button, uh, what the plugin is going to do, it's going to connect to ShareASale and it's going to pull all the data feeds that you have access to. Now in our case we uh, happen to have access right now to 212 uh, data feeds with a total of some uh, 3,375,000 uh, posts in there. And you can scroll down the feeds right here and as you can see we've also got the selection buttons on the front so in order to push a data feed into your WordPress uh, install it's as simple as just hitting the button hitting push it and it's going to basically pull the data feed from share a sale push it into your system convert it to WordPress posts and as you see it's already loaded uh, these uh, these posts this particular data feed only has 10 posts in there so now when we go to the front end of your WordPress install, we'll hit reload and if all is well, we should see 10 new posts in there. Now do keep in mind that these uh, do have your affiliate links uh, embedded right in there when you hover over the image. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the bottom of your screen. There's the uh, affiliate ID uh, in the link. So that's how simple it is to push a data feed uh, to a WordPress post. Now of course it's not the only thing this plugin does. Um, you can select multiple feeds if you want to and if you're uh, really uh, positive today you can select them all if you wanted to. Now do keep in mind as we say it here already uh, depending on your server and your systems you might go into overload when you do that. I mean it's, it's taking a lot of uh, 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 effort from your system in order to push all those data feeds at once but if you think your system is up to it you can try otherwise we would recommend uh, going uh, like three four five feeds at a time now when you selected these feeds now this feed is about a hotel uh, and resorts if I run this one again of course it's not going to do anything because uh, the system will see that we've got duplicate posts and it will complain about that too so Having said that, if I take any other feed, you also see this box right here where we can enter some keywords and replace them with our own. Now, why are we including this? Uh, it's a major SEO feature, a search engine uh, optimization feature, because your search engines will uh, really hate duplicate posts. And as you're pulling posts from data feed, uh, typically, other people will have done that before you so you're going to have a lot of uh, the same posts on the internet now in our case what we can do um, suppose we've got a 
data feed with wine products. Now there's bound to be some words in there uh, like wine and red and uh, stuff like that. What we are going to do is replace those words with words that we've chosen ourselves. Now if I'm going to run this feed right now it's going to take a little bit because depending on your system it has to contact uh, share a sale and this is all going live so uh, we're on a data stick here and it's not the fastest system around but here we go it's now pulling the feeds in and uh, in your case this might go a lot faster actually when we do it live on the internet it's blazing fast and you can pretty much pump uh, uh, anywhere from uh, five to uh, ten thousand posts a minute so now in our case it's going a little bit slow uh, you see the progress right here but I think we've already got enough information to uh, just go to the front end uh, do notice that there's something not quite right here hold on one sec Sorry about that, I had to pause you there for a second uh, because I selected more uh, feeds than I uh, really wanted to for this particular example. As you can see we are uh, downloading uh, products from uh, feed number 212 in our case which happens to be the Sellers Wine Club. It's got 17 posts in there as you can see by the last number uh, in the data feed name. And if all is well we are replacing these keywords with the keywords that we selected ourselves. Now in order to check this let's go to the front end again and uh, we'll hit reload and as you can see too uh, we're automatically building categories here on the right side you don't have to do anything for that all happens uh, automatically and probably find our uh, wine related products under uh, food if I'm not mistaken there we go and uh, if you do recall I'm gonna switch back to the back end really quick Every time our plugin sees the word wine, it's going to replace it with awesome beer. Now, in the front end, you're going to see awesome beer right here in your text. Now, when the search engine picks up on your post, it's going to see a unique post. It's not going to find a duplicate on the internet, and that's really going to help your uh, SEO scores. So that's a, a nice little built-in feature in, the, in our plugin. Now another feature that we have is a uh, filter. So for instance, I could select multiple feeds and say that I only want to retrieve posts that have the word uh, home in it. Uh, I do see a luxury villa finder here. I have no clue uh, what's in that feed, but maybe there's something about homes in there. Now I can filter on title or content. Uh, in this case we'll use the content and let's see if there are any posts that have the word home in it and if they do they'll automatically add them to your WordPress uh, install. Now do keep in mind that in this case I also uh, selected uh, the Young Lovers feed, uh, feed number nine. I think that's a clothing store. Um, it's not going to find uh, any posts with home in there for uh, for quite a while I think but you can uh, select uh, any keyword you want and just let the system run go drink a cup of coffee and when you come back you've got a fully stocked uh, niche uh, uh, affiliate uh, website now let's scroll down and see uh, what our plugin has actually uh, found in those two data feeds uh, the first thing you're going to see is that we are actually going to hit a lot of duplicate posts which is correct because uh, earlier on we did load uh, the data feed for young lovers so those posts are already in our system so it should skip those uh, as it's doing right now now if it does not find a duplicate post it is going to see if our keyword uh, matches something in the content and as you can see here we're skipping uh, most of these posts because it doesn't find uh, the word home in the content now let's see the green ones right here are posts where it did find the word home and that's uh, those are actually entries that it turned into WordPress posts so if we go to the front end in a minute we will see these green posts showing up as normal posts in your WordPress install let's check that and go to the front end and we are going to just go to the index page again and right here are your posts with the word home in it and this is how you can very easily uh, create uh, any niche uh, site you want. 
Well, I hope uh, you can make some money with our plugins and uh, hope to see you again in one of our other tutorials. Have a great day. Bye.